Instagram, the ever-changing giant of social media, the ultimate platform for photographers to showcase their portfolios, and that elusive algorithm that seems stacked against you every year. It's not 2020 anymore. Here are the top 10 ways to crush your content on Instagram in 2021. Plus, my secret tip for gaining thousands of new followers from one image. Here's how, play tape. What's happening team? It's 2021. What? The game has changed. Instagram has evolved. So what do they want you to do on their platform? How do you maximize your posts and your stories? You can't just rely on stunning photos anymore to get Instagram's attention. You have to play their game. So let's start with a simple and the most effective way to get your images noticed. Relevant even before 2021. So if you know this one already, it's worth mentioning again. Tip one, aspect ratio. Screen real estate is the name of the game. The more you own for that split second of someone swiping through your feed, the more you'll get noticed. A 4x5 cropped image, or in pixels it's 1080 by 1350, that's going to get you more impact than say a landscape crop of 16x9. A portrait style image will get you more bang for your buck. Remember, most people hold their phones in portrait mode and the Instagram platform is built that way. A beautiful epic landscape on a big screen is going to get lost on a two and a half inch widescreen. So start thinking in terms of portrait mode. Now that's not to say you should stop taking landscape style images, you just adjust the way they're viewed on the platform. Which brings me onto tip number two, the carousel. On a post, you have 10 images that you can upload, so use them. Instagram wants you to use them. They want their users to engage with that content and keep swiping for that next image. Why? Because the more time you spend on Instagram, the less time you spend on TikTok. It's simple competition strategy. One second scanning an image on a feed will turn into 10 seconds swiping through that content. The more you tell a story and get people engaged, the more they will invest their time and read your captions. If you're posting a landscape or a panorama, try splitting that image into segments to accommodate the portrait tip. They will still see that beautiful image in all of its glory when you include it in the carousel. But you've got to hook them first. Remember, the 4x5 aspect ratio is proven success on the platform. Instagram is going to reward you and boost that post in search and on people's feeds the more time people spend looking at it and reading the captions. So get people swiping. Tip number three, and this is a big one, engagement. What makes people engage with content? Other people. Images perform better on Instagram when they contain a human element. Faces, personality and emotion will engage viewers and have more impact than say images with food or trees or an empty street. Images of a chef making the food, a girl swinging from the tree or a stranger walking down the street will invoke emotion and engagement. But McGee, I hear you say, I'm a landscape photographer. Dude, I'm a product photographer. All valid points. I point you back to the carousel. Try leading with an image of you taking that gorgeous landscape. Or as an alternative, place yourself in the landscape or holding that whiskey glass. Viewers will still see the image as it's meant to be when they swipe through. If you're a photographer, chances are you've got other photographers following you. And what do all photographers love? Cameras. So try throwing in a close-up of your beloved Sony a7 III or your Canon R5. Photographers also love to know how you took the shot, right? What's the first thing you ask a magician when they dazzle you with a magic trick? How did you do that? So include an image of your camera settings, tell a story, throw an image of you climbing that mountain to get that epic landscape. Show the struggle, people love all that. Okay, moving on. Here's a big one in 2021. Tip four, shares. So we've all seen those little icons underneath the post. You know, the one we all know and love, the like. Well, forget that. It's so last season. Sure, it makes you all gooey inside and want to strut down the street like John Travolta, but it's not what's going to influence the algorithm in your favor anymore, so stop putting so much emphasis on the like. Comments. They take more time to write than just clicking a like, and therefore it's seen as more engaging as a social interaction. So guess what? Write good captions. Write questions in your captions. Ask them which image they prefer in the carousel, or where the best place to shoot a sunset is at the end of April. Now the save if someone saves your image, Instagram sees this as an important post and rewards you with more exposure. But the one thing that's going to explode your post is shares. 
Why? Because this is social networking at its finest. Sharing images is what Instagram is all about. So how do you get your images to be shared by hundreds or thousands of people? Well, originality. Post something that nobody has seen before. That's how anything goes viral on the net. Being the first to show or do something that nobody has seen before is a surefire way of getting the masses to go, dude, you gotta see this and share. In your captions, find clever ways to get people to share your post. Maybe run a competition for a free print. So next up is the future of Instagram, so you'd better get on board. Tip five, video. So you may have heard of this little social networking app called TikTok. Well, this is Instagram's biggest competitor and the biggest threat to its future. So what does Instagram want you to do to win this race? Post videos. So with the advances in smartphone 4K video capabilities, I mean, it's insane. Video is now seen as a more efficient way of engaging with followers and storytelling. As a photographer, try including behind the scenes video footage in your posts. Show where you were and the journey that it took to get that image. Educate people with technical information about your niche or entertain them with a 15 second clip. Try anything that will get viewers hooked on you and your content. The more time people spend watching content on your account, the more Instagram will push your account. That's growth. Right, tip number six, captions, tags, and my secret photographer's tip. So first up, write engaging captions to accompany your posts. Something your audience will relate to and give it some good consideration. And I know I've said it before, but time spent looking at your post and reading your post will be rewarded by the good people of Instagram HQ. So ideas, explain how you were feeling when you took that particular photograph or where you see yourself in six months time or a year. Ask questions like, what lens would be better for this image if you took it at night? Or if you can't think of anything, just say you can't think of anything and get them to caption it for you. Hashtags, they're becoming less important. I include maybe eight or 12 at most. And with smaller followings of say 25,000 to 250,000. That way you're more likely to appear in the feed for that hashtag as opposed to a 3 million hashtag which could take you all week to find it. And don't go for vague hashtags either, keep them relevant. Right, this is my secret tip specifically for photographers. Ready? Post an image of a camera or holding a camera or a camera taking an image and then tag a camera account or a photography specific account that likes to post images of cameras. Make sure it's a fairly big account of say 50,000 followers or more. And make sure your image is really good. Something that they'd be proud to post on their feed. With any luck, they will repost your image and credit you as the photographer. Reposts on big accounts will get picked up by other big accounts that like to post images of cameras. Then simply sit back and watch the followers roll in. I took this image in my back garden and posted it to my account. I tagged a much bigger account, they reposted my image, they tagged me as the photographer and this sparked a chain event of 67 reposts. This image was reposted 30 times and this one 20 times. These images alone are responsible for about eight to 10,000 new followers. I'm not joking. Tip seven. <laughs> the first hour. The first hour is the most important time after a post. It's when the Instagram algorithm decides whether your post is an important one. When the likes start to flow, when people start to share your image, and when the comments start to happen. So this is your best time to create a fuss. Reply to all your comments, and this will invariably generate more comments from other people wanting to join the conversation. People love to talk and Instagram loves it too. And don't be afraid to chat to strangers either. Instagram is a very friendly place, not like Twitter at all. And don't forget, the heart of Instagram is social networking. Take advantage of this and the platform will love you back. Tip eight is insights. So you'll need to switch to a business account or a creator account to have access to valuable information about your followers and specifically the time that they're all online on any given day. With this information, you can maximize the best day to post and what time of day to post. Also the type of followers that you have and where they're from will influence what you post. Posting an image of an American flag on Indonesia Independence Day at 10 a.m. UK time when most of America are asleep is not going to get you the best result. Tip nine, 
pro selfies. So remember back to tip three when we talked about engagement and faces and people perform better on Instagram. Well, stop taking boring old handheld selfies that we've seen a gazillion times and invest in a good wireless shutter remote. It will free you up to become more creative with self-portraits. So if you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen a theme of action portraits of me. Well, none of these were taken by other photographers. They were taken using a shutter remote and one that can handle burst mode specifically. This one transmits over 100 meters too. So finally, tip 10 is export settings. And image quality is obviously really important, but don't just assume that exporting at 100% image quality is gonna get you the best result when you upload to their platform. Instagram will compress large image files to fit all of the billions of images that get uploaded to their servers every day. And their compression algorithm is not as good as Photoshop's or Lightroom. After years of experimenting with image quality and uploading to Instagram, Instagram, I found a sweet spot about 72% image quality will get you the best results when you upload to their servers. Now this is slightly arbitrary because some images have more pixel information than others, but as an average percentage, 72% is a sweet spot. And image dimensions, I would always export at 1080 pixels. So that's it team, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, let's catch up next week.